Hi, my name is Adam from Type Rentals Malaysia. So today we will introduce one of our rental unit, which is a pressure calibrator from Drug model PV411A, a multi-function 4-in-1 hand pump for pressure and vacuum calibration. So this unit provides functionality for replacing four conventional hand pumps. Number one, it's for hydraulic up to 700 bars. Two, for pneumatic gas up to 40 bars. Third, for vacuum from negative 950 millibars. And lastly, for low pressure vacuum operation, which is adjustable. So who is this unit ideal for? So this is ideally for workshop and laboratories that need low cost pressure source. And in terms of application, you can apply this unit for testing and calibration pressure to sensor, gauges, switches, indicators, and also recorders. Now, let's take a closer look at the unit. These are the items required to install the gauge. First, you need an adjustable spanner, a 19mm spanner, a trade seal tip, a liquid leak detector or you can use spray water with soap added in it. So now let's do the installation. Use the thread seal tape and apply to the gauge connection to prevent any leakage. Then secure the gauge connection to the hand pump tightly using the adjustable spanner. You need to hold the insert connection from the hand pump using spanner size 19 and tighten the gauge using the adjustable spanner on the gauge. Once the connection is tightened, make sure the gauge meter is facing outward, facing the user. The next step is to secure the reservoir. Note for this, does not require the seal tip or spanner. Next is to secure a connection for the output. In this case, we are using a stopper for demonstration purposes. Apply the trade seal tip before attaching any hose to the hand pump. Repeat the same steps when applying the gauge to the hand pump. Use a spanner to tighten the connection. To create pressure, turn the knob selector to P and turn the adjustable knob all the way outward. Start pumping the hand valve a few times and you can start turn the knob inward to create pressure. The gauge will start showing pressure build up and you can increase it to a certain level. Spray some water to make sure there is no leakage coming out from the connection. So here are the complete accessory list that comes with the main unit. So as you can see here, it comes with a user manual. It comes with the reservoir which is already pre-installed to the main unit and you're going to get a 1 meter high pressure hose it also comes with a multiple size adapter which is included inside the set and comes with the soft hard case okay so this is the unit uh, in closer look so for the purpose of the demonstration i already installed the digital pressure gauge the reservoir and also the plug for to connect to the output all right okay let's start with the large volume adjuster 
So this is very high sensitive volume adjuster is used in the unit. So this is very easy to turn for accurate pressure or vacuum setting. So this volume adjuster eliminates the physical effort associated with conventional uh, hand pumps. Next is the pressure vacuum valve. So this is a selection where you can change from pressure. So you turn it this way. You want to use for volume and then you turn it the other way. And it, this also can be used for fine control release. Next we have the stroke restrictor. So this stroke resistor is built in to adjust the pressure and vacuum generated per stroke. So you can adjust it. For example, if you want to make smaller stroke, you can turn it so that the grip will become smaller. If you need to adjust it higher, and then you need to turn it so that the grip become wider so that you can put more pressure or vacuum okay and then uh, comes with adjustable protection valve so this adjustable protection valve uh, is a protection from 30 to 700 bar so this is a tamper proof adjustable over pressure protection and can be set to relieve pressure from 300 to 10,000 psi and then comes with a swivel head so this swivel head can rotate up to 240 degree so this is uh, for optimum viewing for reference indicator next we have the reservoir okay this reservoir is removable you can take it off And then you can put it back in. So this can be disconnected from the pump without draining or we need without taking the fluid out. And comes with and then and then comes with a swivel. Uh, comes with a spring loaded top cover van. If uh, accidentally the pressure is higher than eight psi, you can release a smaller amount of pressure. And the media that we use here, uh, if you are using for hydraulic mode, you need to use uh, either distilled water or mineral oil. Uh, but if you are using for hydraulic and pneumatic mode, so only distilled water is uh, recommended. So for pressure connection, so pressure connection is using um, quarter NPT female. For reservoir connection, this is a quarter BSP female. Okay, now, so let's start the demonstration on how to generate pump or vacuum using the PV411 hand pump. Um, let's start with vacuum mode. So what you need to do first is to change the selector. You need to turn it around all the way out for V, for vacuum. Next, you need to ensure the volume adjuster is part way out, meaning that you need to turn it here, okay, until it's very tight. So next, what you need to do is you can start pumping the hand pump until we get 950. So this is in vacuum mode. So you can increase or decrease the vacuum using the volume adjuster. Also, we already create vacuum. Uh, next, we can try the pressure mode. So to change to pressure mode, you need to adjust the selector from V to P. So you have to turn it all the way out. Like this. And the next step, you can vent a reservoir. You can just open it to release some vacuum and then tighten it back next you can tighten the scissor handle slightly in like so and then you can uh, make sure that the volume adjuster is all the way out here
like this and then you can start pumping the scissors so once it's very tight you can adjust it using, using the volume adjuster so when you turn it you can see the pressure is increasing so you can set your uh, desired pressure using the volume adjuster Good. so that's how you change to pressure mode so let's talk about the measurement range of the hand pump PV411A so in hydraulic mode the high pressure can go from 0 to 700 bars and it's only designed to operate with distilled water and or using a high viscosity mineral oil equal to 40 viscosity in pneumatic mode uh, for medium pressure it can go from 0 to 40 bars while for low pressure it uh, measures from 0 to 1 millibar resolution in vacuum mode it can generate vacuum pressure from 0 to negative 950 millibars or at 95 percent vacuum while for low pressure fine control the range pressure generation is in H2O or inches of water column at 4 degrees Celsius pressure unit. As a summary, um, this is a very unique vacuum priming function that you can remove trapped air during hydraulic operation. So the internal parts are made from Teflon anodized for reduced friction and wear. And the design are ergonomic, rugged and lightweight. And this is designed with comfortable hand grip. Thank you.